um, this one's really fun to show off, actually. This is the Surface Tracker. And the Surface Tracker, uh, if I just you know play this clip back, um, well, maybe. There we go. So this shirt, obviously, uh, did not start out life with a Resolve logo on it, right? Um, here it is. Here's the shirt. Because the Surface Tracker has done a few things. One, um, this is the original shirt, okay? And as you can see, uh, it says, you know, Elephant Ranch, whatever this restaurant is, okay? So in the bounds, what we've done, let me turn on my open effects over overlay so you can see. I found a good solid frame like, you know, like this one. I created a boundary around it with the bounds tool. The mesh tool then decides uh, how many things it needs to track in that mesh to include all the uh, fabric um, and distortion. And um, then we actually use the track features. And the track features front and back from this, because we're starting somewhere in the middle, track features track this deformation. And the result is now the overlay outputting warp input two, okay? Because this surface tracker is taking this element to input two. So warp input two onto the blank, okay? Surface tracker, the patch for the black, and then the grain after the fact to make it really sing. So that's it. That's We've tracked it. We've subbed in a replacement logo. And you can see that everything deforms and warps and distorts like a t-shirt would as it's moving with his body. Okay, Surface Tracker uh, is also in use here. You probably saw this shot um, before when I was showing the media pool and you can see this um, this model right here clearly doesn't have anything on her on her sweater. Uh, maybe you can't see it because the thumbnail is too small but you know there's nothing on the sweater. Okay, But we're tracking that sweater and we're adding this little element so that's what this looks like right we have uh, distorted and tracked and attached all right so let's look at that surface tracker um, with the tools on you can see there the surface tracker is actually showing us what it's doing okay and it's compositing this checkerboard element over the sweater uh, we've done surface tracker again here but we've done it for um, post makeup right so I've taken a good frame and then on that frame I've drawn some eyeshadow Okay, so let's turn that off, right? No eyeshadow, eyeshadow on. And then because I was able to track that with the surface tracker, uh, there's the boundary, there's the mesh it created, the track is already saved, and you can see the tracking keyframes, right? As I navigate through them in this view, okay? And the result is that it's warped, uh, warped onto her face so that she moves around the eyeshadow stays in place, All right? And then I did something silly, just because, you know, this woman clearly doesn't have a tribal cheek tattoo, but uh, I thought that would be kind of interesting to see, you know, what if she did, right? And you can see I used the same tool set here. Um, I've simply tracked her face. So again, surface tracker, boundaries, let's go ahead and toggle that on, right? And I've used, in this case, the um, boundary of a hole, I've added a hole point. So you can add boundaries, holes, right? You can delete these elements. So in this case, I didn't want to track the eye closing as a distortion of the cheek. And then it's generated a mesh. Um, I've added this new tribal thing and tracked it. And the result is that now she's a member of my tribe. Okay, this is our, this is our, our cheek tattoo tribe okay so you can tell that it's attached it's locked pretty well um, so those are just some of the some of the the you know crazy new uh, neural engine features that you're going to get in um, DaVinci Resolve Studio 1865